Here is a bit of information on the software synthesizer called Cyclone. It's made for working with loops. I've downloaded a loop and put it on my desktop. It's in MP3 form, I hope that won't matter. So I'll browse here to my desktop and I'll see that it does not show up. That's because Cyclone will only accept WAV files. So here's a way to work around that. I'm going to cancel that and I'll close Cyclone for a moment. I'm going to resize my main sonar window so that I'm able to see my desktop. There's the MP3. Let me slide it onto an audio track and sonar will render that in place. I suppose now it's a WAV file. Let's try that again. I'll reopen Cyclone and I'll drag that into the loop bin. And now you see that worked. I can drag it from the bin now up into one of the cells and it will play. And that's just fine, but my trouble is it's not split up into clips like an acidized loop would be. So here's another workaround. We'll remove our loop from the bin and we'll go back to our Cakewalk main screen where we can turn this wave file into a groove clip by right clicking and select groove clip looping. Now once again I'll reopen Cyclone and add our new groove clip into the bin. And now it's split up into pieces. So I can assign individual pieces of my loop to different keys or cells. Now I can highlight an individual slice of my loop and change the gain or the pitch or the pan. Now I can also grab individual slices of the loop and move them to different keys, so when I press a key on the keyboard it will sound the different sounds. I can also view a keyboard view here where we can see which keys represent which notes. And I can also set the range to be more than one key, so that if it's spread over several octaves, it'll give a different sound as I press different keys on my MIDI keyboard. Give new life to your old loops with Cyclone.